Hi, and welcome to Minivan Camper Building with Leslie. This obviously is not the van I wish. I've always dreamed of having a some type of closet, some place where clothes could hang in the van. Haven't figured out how to do that yet with our setup. However, since we are back at our house in between renting it out, just to do some little touch-ups and check in on the place. This is an opportunity to stop in and see all the things that I'm not bringing with me. <laughs> Coming back now and checking in after seven months of renting out the house as a B&B, &B, that is a great opportunity to look and see what do I feel like I need right now and what was I just holding on to because I had no idea what else I was going to do with it. If this is your first time here, welcome. I don't always come at you from my closet. I'm Leslie and I built our minivan into a camper. Single-handedly, yes it did. And I'll show you how to do it too, if you're so inclined. While you're here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? We can keep in touch that way. I try to answer every single question that I possibly can. So go ahead and get in the comments, ask anything you like, and I'll get back to you. A lot of these clothes are not suitable for camping. <laughs> so that's one reason they stayed behind. I went through and pulled out everything that I knew would do well on the road that would be suitable for the camper van lifestyle. But what did we bring with us on the road? Well, I have my favorites and the hubby Michael also has his favorites. So we put together some of our top choices for functional and comfortable and good looking clothing while you're on the road in your camper van. Let's go. So when we're talking about the right clothes for camping, the number one most important thing I have to say to you is layers. You want lightweight, breathable, moisture wicking layers. And even if you're camping like us in mostly warm weather, it can get colder than you think. And layer while you're sleeping too. You can adjust in the night if you're getting warmer, colder, you have your clothes right there. Another important thing to think about is long sleeves. Maybe you think, well, if I'm camping in warm weather, I just like to wear my tank top. Okay, that's great. But those long sleeves can protect you from the sun, from bugs, and also from any, you know, scratchy or nasty plants. Long sleeves are great to have in the summer. So let's talk about those layers. I'm going to list some clothing materials here. What I'm not going to hit is any of the ethical aspects, things like is the disposal of the fabric a hazard to the environment or was the sheep treated uh, especially well when the wool was sheared? That's a different subject for a different day. Let's start out with 100% cotton. Oh, it's so comfy, especially in warm weather, right? But whether you're camping in either hot weather or cold weather, the problem is that it absorbs any sweat and it holds that sweat on your skin. <laughs> so it, in hot weather, it just makes you feel muggy. If you're in cold weather, it just makes you feel wet and freezing. So if you're camping and doing any kind of physical activity, <laughs> I would suggest avoiding 100% cotton at all costs. Next up is silk. Silk is so lightweight. It's comfy, right? It keeps you very warm. Camping, hot summer, no. It's got a couple of cons. It usually requires some kind of special laundering. You can't just throw it in with everything else. And it's not as durable as some of these other materials. So let's talk about those materials. Let's hit polypropylene. Polypropylene will keep you warm. It wicks moisture, which is great, but it's just not going to keep you cool. And it's dirty little secret is that polypropylene will retain body odors. I know. 
and I made the mistake of buying some kind of athletic shirt that was polypropylene. And after the first time I took it out on a jog, oh, <laughs> oh, it's bad. You have to launder it immediately or just burn it or something. But if that kind of thing doesn't bother you, okay. But polypropylene, not the best for how it's going to smell and not the best for keeping you cool. Next up, nylon blends. Nylon blends are great for elasticity, very, very comfortable. However, they are really poor at wicking moisture away. When you have all these other choices, why wouldn't you go for something that has the ability to wick moisture away from your skin? So what are some of the real go-to fabrics? All right, yes. Number one, polyester cotton blend. Mm -hmm. It dries much faster than 100% cotton and it doesn't stick to you like 100% polyester. The polyester cotton blends are Michael's go-to fabrics for his t-shirts. And our next favorite is polyester spandex blends. Just they're great wicking, they keep you dry and cool. Most of my shirts actually, most of them, like 99% of them are polyester spandex blend. Actually my pants too. Most of my pants are also polyester spandex blends. They're comfortable. And who doesn't want that when you're summer camping? Speaking of pants, let's switch gears a little bit. Uh, Michael's shorts. Also, I think every single pair of shorts that he has is a polyester spandex blend. Super comfy, dry, cool. They don't wrinkle. They're great. My favorite pair of pants for hiking are 100% nylon. They are perfect. They're also, they have a UPF rating as well of 30 plus. I don't know why that's important in pants, but I guess it is. And let me testify. These things are durable. I've had these pants at least 10 years, maybe 12, maybe even more. I've taken them out on many a hike and they do the job. They also have a lot of pockets in them. They have hooks and they have these Velcro straps around the ankles so you can cinch them so nothing, you know, will get up in there <laughs> when you're hiking. Just a nylon pants, 100% nylon pants are the way to go when you're hiking. In my opinion, I love them. Not telling you what to buy. I'm just saying I love them. Okay. Next, let's talk about socks. Socks? The answer is wool. No doubt about it. Wool is naturally antibacterial, so what that means is there's less odor. Uh, just make sure that your socks are tight-fitting, so that way when you're going hiking, you don't get any blisters. Make sure you get a little padding on the sole of your socks as well, and that the toe and the heel are reinforced so they have a good amount of durability. Why not splurge on some socks, right? They're for your feet, for goodness sake, and you use your feet a lot. So how good you're going to feel with a couple of really nice quality pairs of socks. For shoes, Michael right now is wearing Keen sandals, which seem to be great. They seem to work pretty well in the water, like you can stomp through a river, you can kayak, seem to be great. For hiking, he's wearing right now Merrill hiking shoes, and that's the Merrill shoe and the Merrill sole. Those are holding up well, and I think they're very lightweight, and so they're super comfortable. On my end of things, I for hiking, I will wear anything with a Vibram sole. <laughs> Just give me, give me something, a nice solid boot or a hiking shoe or something that's really well built, has a lot of support and the Vibram sole. Yes. So this is what I'm rocking right now. And it they're awesome. And I also like to carry around with me a pair of the BZ's sandals. I love them because you can walk into a river with them. You can throw them in the washer if you want. They look cute. They've got a million different styles to pick from. 
And they are a go-to when once in a while you want to look like you're not in full tactical. (laughs) Well, sometimes you just want to go, you know, visit friends or go to a nice restaurant and you want to have something that looks like normal clothes, even though it's very camping camper van friendly, right? I also roll with one or two just really nice shirts, something that's a polyester spandex blend. (laughs) I can roll it up and it looks great. Thinking about cheap quality versus high quality camping clothes, let me say this. And if you know me, you know I shop price. (laughs) I do not splash around cash, okay? But if you go with cheap quality clothes, you get a cheap quality fit. You get cheap durability. Here is where you want to look for the high quality clothes. The clothes just last a lot longer. They can take more abuse, which when you're camping, you're going to give your clothes some abuse without a doubt, right? Then when your cheap clothes wear out, you have to go through all that effort again to replace them. And you also want some clothes that are going to stand up to the amount of laundry you're going to be subjecting them to. Because when you only have a small amount of clothes, you wash them all the time. So think about that. Uh, You know, and you don't have to go and buy brand new high quality clothes either. If you have some time and you have the interest in this, you can go look at consignment stores. You can find some really great quality clothes for a low price at a consignment store or a thrift store. I found a leather Gucci bag at a thrift store, okay? So have a look. Think about it. You're getting a great deal and you're giving some clothes new life. Hope you enjoyed talking about clothes. I certainly did enjoy hanging out with you. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.